We're going to conclude our discussion of information retrieval by talking about how you actually evaluate an information retrieval system. This actually has a connection to Maryland, uh, the organization that really pioneered the evaluation of information retrieval systems is the National Institute for Standards and Technologies uh, in Gaithersburg, Maryland, just uh, along the Beltway a little bit. And here, uh, they painstakingly built collections with queries, and then they combed through a bunch of documents to try to find which of the documents are actually relevant to the query. So actually finding ground truth to this very large needle in a haystack problem. So once you have these ground truth documents, how well did your system do given the set of results that it returned? To talk about this, we need to introduce some terminology. We're going to be talking about true positives, false positives, true negatives, and false negatives. So let's first talk about true positives. This is the best case. These are documents that are actually relevant and your system said, yes, they're relevant. Let's continue talking about the documents that your system found. And so let's now talk about false positives. These are documents that your system found and so here in this image, these are the things that were returned in the black circle here. The false positives are things that your system said, these are relevant, but they're actually not. And so these are the messy results that are cluttering up your search results and distracting you from the truth. So this is a mistake. Another kind of mistake that you can make is a false negative. These are documents that your system said weren't relevant, but they actually are. So these are relevant things that should have been returned in the search results, but actually weren't. And so these are true documents that you should have returned, but you didn't. And then finally, there are true negatives. True negatives are documents that are irrelevant and you didn't return them. And so this is the vast majority in most cases of documents. Your system didn't say that they were relevant, and they actually aren't relevant because for any given query most documents are not going to be relevant and most systems will not say that they're relevant. Okay, so these are uh, the ways that you can be right, uh, true negatives and true positives, and taken together these those two classes are your system getting things right and how do we characterize these in terms of numbers that we can use to describe how well our system is doing. So, what we'll talk about is precision and recall. So precision is how much of the things that you returned were actually relevant. So you have a set of search results, what proportion of the things that you return are actually relevant. And so this is one of the primary ways that you would like to judge a system. Do the search results look good or not? But it only tells half of the story. The other way of looking at this problem is in terms of recall. Of the things that could have been relevant, how many of them did you actually return? And this is important because your system could have very good precision by only returning one document but being very sure that this document is relevant. And you could get perfect precision if you did that. But that necessarily wouldn't be good enough because then you're only returning one relevant document each time and you're not telling the whole story. But recall by itself isn't perfect either. If you just returned all documents and you said that all documents were relevant, then you would have great recall because of all of the relevant documents, you found all of them, but there's a lot of noise in there as well. So typically what you want to do is you want to balance between precision and recall and combine them in a way that balances off between precision and recall. And how you actually balance that off will depend on the task that you're actually doing. We'll talk more about this later when we discuss evaluation of NLP systems in more detail, but I wanted to start off with this just because it's important for you to know uh, the terms of precision and recall, and they're very important for information retrieval 
and so it's good to keep all of these concepts together. But for this class, we actually won't spend all that much time on intrinsic evaluation of information retrieval. Uh, this isn't an information retrieval class. This is a natural language processing class, and instead what we'll do is we'll spend a lot more time on extrinsic evaluation for information retrieval systems. Information retrieval systems are really useful for finding a bunch of information, and we can feed that information that's hopefully relevant to whatever query we put in to downstream algorithms that, say, answer questions. And we can then evaluate how good our information retrieval system is based on whether the question answering system that comes after our information retrieval system, how well does it answer questions? And we can do things like look at the accuracy of the question answering system, and if we get high accuracy, then our information retrieval system was doing better. And we can try out different IR systems, and the higher the accuracy on the downstream question answering task, the better our information retrieval system was. And you'll be building these systems throughout the course of the homeworks and the project for this class.